Whenever you have an emergency that may involve hazardous materials, it's important to gather information about the air around you to determine what hazards and risks may be present. This is the first program in a series called Air Monitoring, designed to provide training to emergency responders who carry out atmospheric sampling activities at a hazmat or weapons of mass destruction incident. Program one is called Contamination Assessment. The program will explain why air monitoring is so important. Look at the basic monitoring instruments used in emergency response and show procedures for carrying out sampling. First, air monitoring can help you verify information about the type of chemical involved in the incident and the chemicals associated hazards. This will help the incident commander assess the potential health effects of exposure and determine if protective actions such as evacuation or protection in place may be necessary. In contamination assessment, part one of this series, a number of direct reading instruments used in emergency response were introduced. The program explained why air monitoring is necessary, how to size up and prepare for monitoring, and how monitoring is carried out. This is the second program in a series called air monitoring designed to provide training to emergency responders who carry out atmospheric sampling activities when a hazmat or WMD incident occurs. Program two is called Direct Reading Instruments. This program will take a closer look at the principal instruments used for air monitoring in emergency response, explain how they work, how to interpret their readings, and how to avoid some common problems.